What's up, peoples? Welcome to this week's vlog. I believe it's week 57. I am finishing editing up this week, well, last week's vlog, because it's Friday. That's what I do on Fridays, posted Saturday. This is the start of the new week. I'm about to hop on one of the deep dive calls with my mentor for an hour right now, Dan. And we'll see what's up. We'll plan our next, plan our next schemes and plots. So let's get cracking. Yeah, so I can plug it all the time. Yeah, I think it, I think it'll go well, but it's definitely a lot of volume I'll need to have in order to hit that kind of goal. Okay, so we're one percent done. We're 0.7 percent done. That's not that's not very encouraging. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, on a pie chart it doesn't look sexy, but no, you know, it's better than zero percent. So we create. So it's just really seeing, you know, like where your customer base is, because we're assuming that throughout the season. So just trying to be as like realistic as possible with my projections and my expectations, but I do expect it to go really fast during the summer. Your expectations with the actual numbers, and there's even a it doesn't have to follow the line exactly, but even if there's like a strong correlation, we'll have better data end of July, beginning of August, probably. What about client stuff? All the things you say make total sense, and like having that revenue stream to put back into it um, is definitely what I need to be focusing on. Not that I don't have the passion to do it or the drive to do it. It's less motivating for me to work as on work on that shit. Yeah, I mean, look, I get it. It's a whole other job, different brain space. You know what it is? When I focus on like content and when I focus on my creative side, I'm very good at looking forward. But yep. when, I, when I think about the marketing stuff, I think of myself as someone who just like puts out the fires, right? I'm not looking ahead. I'm, I'm more so looking at, okay, so if nothing has gone wrong, I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna push this forward, you know what I mean? Broken down in almost like two different people when it comes to the two different things that I'm working on. What, what you focus on grows, what you give your attention to grows. And so I think just having, like let's say, on, if you look at your calendar for the week, you had five hours of your, all your time for that week just allotted to finding clients and having conversations about your work, that would start netting you deals. You'd also get new ideas for finding where other clients might be, mm -hmm. get introductions. In a few months, you'd be getting a steady stream and you could decide who you want to accept and reject. You can raise your rates, you can stop doing it all together. But it just creates more opportunities for you, just money. And if you could get a few more clients, it would force you to be better with your time because you wouldn't have as much time and you have to become more efficient because you're not going to stop doing the content. You're yeah. going to keep doing the content. Yeah. So you're going to be like, all right, well, I have two more clients. How am I going to batch this? Hey, wait. It's Saturday. 75 degrees and sunny. Y'all know this means Mark season officially kicked off. Man, you a queen, baby. Cook. And so Mark season done officially started. And people ask me all the time, when's Mark season start? What's the official start date? I tell them it's not a goddamn date. It's a feeling. It's that first, first, first day in New York. And there's one of these days every single year that you just know it's so nice out. Everyone's fucking drinking and everyone's having a good ass time because the weather puts you in that mood. And yesterday was that day. We went to the city, we had about 13 marks, and we're gonna do it again today. My girl Renee, Lil Egg, Lil Nene, just moved into New York, and she's throwing a housewarming party at, at her cribbo. So we heading in there, and that's what we're doing for the weekend. And the weekend is over. Woo. Yeah, last night was primo. Really good time. Shout out Lil Egg, shout out Nene, shout out Coco, shout out Steph for having the party. We stayed at the apartment basically all night and then we went out later. Hit up Pizza Beach, if any of you guys are from the city, like Hell Square, I think that's what it's called, where it's like Hair of the Dog, Pizza Beach, that area. We ended up there and uh, I got up early this morning. I got a bunch of work done and then I hit a hard plateau. I got home probably like 2.33 last night. Woke up at about eight. I was like, I gotta get some shit done. And then like always on Sunday, I hit a big wall. Now I'm trying to wrap up at night. But you know, we had to get some nasty ass food. So we ordered Domino's, thin crust, Philly steak, peppers, onions. They have the two things for 5.99 meals. So I got some chicken shits. These taste like, these are awful. Tastes like Purdue. Like right out of the bag from ShopRite. And Domino's just makes that. It's like, I don't know, 8.30, I'm tired as shit. I might pop a couple Advil PMs. Call a night, wake up early, got a call tomorrow with the uh, virtual real estate company. So we're just gonna watch some Netflix. I'm watching this show called The Money Heist. Um, I don't know, it's in Spanish, but American subtitles. Supposedly it's very good. I'm like two episodes into it. It's entertaining thus far. I think it's called Amer uh, Money Heist. I would suggest it. Have a productive week, y'all. My man Dan sent me over. He Amazon Primes me a book, my mentor. He's like, we had a good call on Friday, I think it was. We talked for like an hour and a half. And he's like, I'm gonna send you over a book. Read it by read it by next Friday. And we're gonna hop on another call. I'm like, cool, let's do it, motherfucker. I don't get the book until yesterday. It's Wednesday right now. I'm like, I have Monday. It's like fucking 400 pages. 
I'm like, bro, I feel like I'm in high school or grad school. I have homework. Like I haven't, <sighs> last time I read a book this quickly, that's this large, was like Holes back in high school. Y'all have to read Holes? That book was the GOAT though. This is a good book. It's called uh, Getting Everything You Can Out of All You've Got. Just basically uh, a way to look at whatever situation you're in business-wise differently than the way you have been looking at it and finding opportunities in places that you don't think about it. And successful companies, they call them like breakthroughs, right? That's how you get ahead of the competition. And breakthroughs come in many forms. It's not just like a crazy product you put out, but you can have a breakthrough in your marketing department, sales funnel, a breakthrough in your customer service funnel or whatever. So it kind of breaks down all the different parts of a business. and. You know, you're supposed to be looking at it from different industries. If you're in car sales, you know, maybe something that someone does in plumbing, as someone that's a super successful plumber or owns a plumbing business, right? Something they do in their funnel can work really well in yours, but no one in your industry is doing it. So it's like, you're always looking for outside opportunities about how to separate yourself or, you know, get ahead of the competition. So I'll let you know in about 17 hours when I'm done with this. I promise you I didn't set any any of this up. This is what my workspace looks like throughout the day sometimes. I'm in the middle of reading the book and then these ideas start popping off that have, I mean, they're relevant to the book, I guess, but just random ideas start popping off and things start flying everywhere. Everyone that comes to my house is just like, oh, so you just turned your entire house into your office. So sometimes, you know, I'll work in my room, but I don't like the idea of being kind of like in a corner and it's like, obviously I can open the window, but it gets like dark. So a lot of the times I'll just work out here and things just get scattered everywhere. Like I got my book there with a pen. Cause when I'm reading the book, I like to underline things that kind of stick out to me and go back to them later. Finishing coffees. I dropped my calculator on the floor and it's been there for like 30 minutes. I have three different notebooks open right now. This is how jumbled I get sometimes. And it drives me crazy because sometimes I'll listen to a podcast or read a book or something or write down notes and be like, oh, I'm gonna look back at this later. And then I can't even find where I put them or I forget to look back at them and I probably look back at it. I need two chains up in here and then I forget to do it because my shit just gets jumbled everywhere. Oh, <clears throat> so that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, I'm heading to court soon for a speeding ticket. So I don't really want to talk about it, to be honest. I just want this thing to be over with. I, I feel like I didn't really film anything this week. It was a bad episode. You know what, when I make these vlogs, no offense, but I don't even think about you guys. I just like film whatever the hell's going on. And a lot of my days are super repetitive, so I don't want to keep filming the same shit. And I realize like I don't film stuff. So that's why a lot of the times it'll just be like one big talk that I have throughout the film. So if there's something that you guys like, you want to see more of like what I eat, my workouts, more business, like marketing stuff, what, I, what I'm doing, fantasy football behind the scenes, any of that stuff, leave a comment down below what you actually like seeing if you leave a comment any question that you leave down below any question that you want to know about me next next video i will answer it i promise you that because i don't really think about like you i don't make these vlogs like for you guys really it's just like documenting but when i'm making like my fantasy stuff obviously i only have you got like the people that watch that in mind like it's only pushing out value to you guys like i only think about what you guys care about when i make these like i said i'm just documenting so when i have like a boring week obviously these are going to be more boring yeah so leave a comment leave any question you want to know even if it's like i like to leave the dating shit outside of these videos but i'll talk about it if you want to know anything so leave a comment leave a question if you enjoyed the video thumb thumb it up subscribe to the channel if you're new and uh we'll see you week 50 i think this is 57 so 58 yeah please mm. It's fucking like nine o'clock right now on Thursday night. I had to go to court today at four o'clock for a speeding ticket. I got like two f months. I'm fucking livid right now. I got the speeding ticket probably over two months ago. Whatever National Pizza Day was, it was that day. February, March, I don't know. Someone fact check that. Anyways, I got a speeding ticket back then. Went to court to fight it. They gave me two options. Knock it down from a four point ticket to a two point ticket or take what they call an unsafe. Prosecutor was like, you can choose one of those options. Why don't you go back, we'll adjourn the, the trial so you can come back in later and decide, go call your insurance agent, decide which one would be better for you financially. The unsafe would have costed me $500 on the spot, but no points. And the speeding ticket was two points, but I don't know how that would have affected my insurance. So I was like, okay, let's postpone this another month. Went back, called my insurance. They're like, we can't help you with that. We, we can't tell you what the rates are in, according to different points and violations that you get. I'm like, sick, sick help. So I had to go back to court today. I was there for like five hours, just sitting there waiting to get a speeding ticket for $160. So that's where we are now. I'm pissed off, I'm hungry, I haven't eaten since like 10 a.m. I don't even know, man. I don't know, man.